Hey guys, it's Jacqueline, and today I want to film a makeup collection video for you guys. I think ever since I posted my first YouTube video, I've been requested to film this. So it's taken me a while, but I finally got here, it's happening, and I'm super excited about it. I think honestly, one of the main reasons why it took me so long to film this was because my makeup collection was an absolute disaster. It was honestly so messy and disorganized and just not cute. I did not want to film it and I put it off for a while. But last weekend, I finally took on the task of reorganizing my entire makeup collection and I really went through everything and got rid of product that I didn't use or that was old and needed to be chucked or products that I had like doubles of and gave them away. So I finally went through everything and I got some new storage solutions and some new containers and I'm finally really happy with the way that everything's organized. It's super functional and super practical. So I guess without further ado, I'm so excited to share this with you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. Here's my makeup collection. So this is what my makeup storage unit looks like. This is actually in my bedroom. And this is basically like the wall that you never see because I'm normally sitting and filming on my bed looking towards this. So the camera normally is actually set up here. So these two drawers that I have here, they're from Ikea. These are the Alex drawers. And I'll do my best to put links to everything in the description so that way you can check it out in case you're interested. But basically, I'm pretty sure every single beauty person on YouTube has these drawers. It's almost like a rite of passage. I think once you post your first beauty video, you like automatically have to get these drawers. Um, but in all honesty, I totally get why everyone has these. They're just super practical for makeup. They're the perfect size and you don't waste any space in there. And you'll see, they just fit everything so nicely. So I'm just going to start off quickly and show you what I have on top. So I basically just have my brushes here and all of my nail polishes. If you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, some of you guys might know that I used to have a slight nail polish obsession. That was before I got into makeup. I went absolutely crazy. This was like mainly in grade 7 and 8 before I really got into makeup. But for the most part, I really only use these kind of neutrally colors up here. Some of my favorites that I have are um, this one, which is Tickle My Francie. And I also really like this one, which is Bubble Bath. So yeah, OPI is probably like my favorite nail polish company, but I do have a couple other ones along here. Um, and you will see, I have a couple more nail polishes in a drawer as well. But that is enough about nail polish for now. Let's move on to some of my brushes. So basically over here, I have all of my brushes stored. Also on the top of my drawers, I have all these cups with brushes inside. These cups here are from Muji, and I believe these were like jars or like candle holders. I don't know. They were something random, but they work perfectly. They're like nice and wide um, for brushes. Sometimes I find like mason jars or smaller glasses. They just don't work as good. So I really like the size of these ones, and they're very simple as well, which I like. So I tried to kind of categorize each little cup um, kind of with each brush's purpose, if that makes any sense. So this one, I have smaller like concealer brushes, things like that. These are all of my tools, so I have like eyelash curlers, I've got tweezers in here, um, I have palette knives, palette, things like that. Then here I have a lot of my eye brushes. Back here I have all of my foundation and like buffing brushes. Um, in terms of like what brands I use for my brushes, I do have a big variety. Um, I really like these Furless Cosmetic ones for doing like foundation. They also do this really nice concealer brush that I use all the time. Um, Furless Cosmetics is really great. I have a couple from Real Techniques which I really like. Um, this one here is from Charlotte Tilbury, and this one's actually a new one in my collection. So I haven't really tried it out too much, but I've heard good things. Um, I also really like Sigma as well. They do some amazing brushes. And then in these other jars here, I just have some different fluffy and angled brushes. These ones are all a bit larger. Back here, I also have some hand sanitizer, a beauty blender, and then I also have like my magnified mirror, so that way I can look up close and personal. So I'm just going to start to go through all the smaller drawers here. There's about one, two, three, four, five. There's five small drawers, and then there's four large drawers at the bottom. So the five drawers on top all have the makeup inside. So in this drawer here, I have a bunch of different foundations. I tried to organize each of my drawers in the order that I would apply them to my face. So I've got a bunch of different primers here and different foundations and things like that. So I have all these different ones back here. These are all from Makeup Forever. These are the HD and Ultra HD ones. I have a pretty big color selection going from really pale to really deep. And these are the ones that I normally reach for if I'm doing makeup on someone else or like a client or if a friend comes over and they want me to do their makeup. Actually, speaking of Makeup Forever, although I really do love a bunch of their products and I really like this foundation, um, Makeup Forever isn't a cruelty-free brand. And it was something that years ago I didn't really know much about, um, but now I've realized that buying cruelty-free is something that's really important to me. I decided that I'm not going to throw away all the products that I already have, even if they aren't cruelty-free. Um, but what I'm going to do is that when it comes time to replace them, say I need a new foundation, which I don't think I'll need a new one for a while, but say I need a new foundation, I'm going to make sure that I buy a cruelty-free one. So I think that's the best solution for me right now. 
So yeah, if you guys see any other products in my collection that aren't cruelty free, but you know like a really good dupe for them or you have a really good recommendation that are cruelty free, feel free to comment that down below because I would really, really appreciate that because I'm slowly on my way to transitioning everything over. So anyways, back to what I actually have in here. So I've got the Makeup Forever one here. I have the L'Oreal True Match, which is really, really full coverage. I've got the Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua. I also have some L'Oreal ones. I have these um, Lush Color Supplements, which these ones are nice because if I wear them, I feel like I'm not clogging my pores and doing my skin damage. I have some Face Shop ones here. I've got some Essence ones. I also have the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, which I absolutely love. This is really, really good, especially if you just want a little bit of coverage, but you don't want to be like full face of makeup. And then as for primers, I have this one here. This is the Hourglass one. This is actually like my favorite primer at the moment. It's really, really good. Um, I really like that one. I also have the Benefit Professional, which is good if you really want like a matte finish, um, but I just really like the finish of this one more. I also have some kind of like highlighter-y products here. This one's from Lush. This is called Feeling Younger. Sometimes I use it as a base and put it under my makeup. Sometimes I mix it in. Sometimes I put it on top. It's really nice. I really like glowy products like that. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. It's very similar to the idea of this one. You can either mix it in, use it as a primer. It's really nice. I use it all the time. Okay, on to the next drawer. This one here is like all concealers, and I also have some powders in here. So these are more individual concealers. This is the under eye concealer that I normally use. It's from Clarins. This is the Rimmel Wake Me Up. This one's actually really good. This one's really grungy and old, but it's a really good concealer. I also really love the NARS Creamy Concealer. I'm sure you guys hear me talk about that all the time. And then I just have a loose powder here from Lush. I've got some more loose powders back here. I've got like a yellowy kind of powder. A couple Makeup Forever translucent powders. And then for pressed powders, I have a MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, a translucent Makeup Forever kind of powder. I've also got a Jane Iredale powder. And then this is the Rimmel Stay Matte powder, which broke, so I taped it in a very beautiful way. And then over here, I have some kind of color correcting pens. Um, and then I also have some different stick concealers from Essence as well. I also have a couple of like highlighter pens here. This one here is from Veil. This one's good when I get a bit more tan because it's a bit more golden. I really like the pen applicator on these though, they're really easy. And then this other one here is the MAC Prep and Prime. Prep and Prime. Prep and Prime. Why am I having difficulty saying that? Prep and Prime. It's kind of like a tongue twister, try to say that five times fast. Um, so that's what I have back there. And in this little container up here, I have more of like the pot concealers that I scrape out. So I've got my two Dermacolor palettes back here. These are really good for covering up like acne or like a rash or even like a tattoo. They're really, really full coverage and you've got a really good range of colors in here. Okay, moving on to the next drawer. These are all bronzers and other highlighters and kind of glowy products. So over here I have all my favorite bronzers. This one here is the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow, which is like a highlighter and a bronzer in one. This is basically all I've been reaching for lately. And then I also have the NARS Laguna Bronzer, which again is an all-time favorite. And I've just got some different ones under here, like the Marc Jacobs ones, some Essence ones, things like that. I have some more like contour kind of powders over here. Again, I've got some Essence ones. I've got some different Makeup Forever ones over here. Then back here, I just have some different um, blush and bronzer palettes. And then I have the Chanel Tan de Soleil, which is like a cream bronzer. And then I have all my highlighters over here. So I just have some different ones from The Face Shop, Jane Iredale, Hourglass. I have this one here from Becca, which I absolutely love. This is the um, opal one, and it's just, ugh. So, so beautiful, love that one. I also really like the Mary Luminizer by The Balm as well. This one's more of like a champagne-y, lighter kind of color. Actually, they look pretty similar on camera, but they definitely have um, their own uses. Okay, so this drawer here is all of the blushes that I have. I don't really think that this drawer is too exciting compared to the rest of them, but I have some different palettes back here. I also have a random lip palette back here, just because it kind of fit nicely. Um, I also have some different blushes um, in different colors under there as well. And then I have all my single blushes here, so I've got some of my favorites, like the Charlotte Tilbury one, NARS. This Hourglass one, again, is like one of my favorites right now. It's just so, so beautiful. I also have some of like those liquid blushes where you kind of put them on your cheek and rub them in. They always look like nail polish and they seem very intimidating, but they're kind of fun. Um, I also have a few cream blushes here and then a few different powder blushes. 
And then for the last small drawer on this side, I have all my different eyeshadows. So I've got a bunch of different palettes over here. I have my original Naked palette, which is like my favorite thing ever, and I use it all the time. Um, I also have the Naked 3 palette over here, which I actually am not a huge fan of. Um, my mom actually loved this color, so she had this for a while. But she ended up giving it back because she didn't really like it. And I ended up trying it out more, and I don't really like the colors in this palette either. I'm not sure if I just kind of got like a weird palette and it just doesn't work very well. But all the shadows seem to be very patchy and not pigmented. Not a huge fan of that palette, but I'm keeping it because hopefully I can find a use for it. I also have a bunch of different eyeshadows that I've kind of potted here in this palette. So just a different kind of variety. I got some crazy colors over there as well. And then up here I have all of my cream eyeshadows. I have these MAC Paint Pots, which I really, really like. These are um, really good for canceling out any veiny eyelids. I also have these from Charlotte Tilbury, which are absolutely gorgeous. These are like their cream eyeshadows. This one here is like a really cool kind of smoky, olive -y kind of color. And then this one here is kind of like a champagne-y, bronzy kind of color. I don't know, it's deeper than a champagne, but um, it's really gorgeous. It's actually what I have on my eyes today. And then I just have some other primers, like the Urban Decay Primer here. And then here I have different smaller palettes that didn't really fit anywhere else. So I've got this different Charlotte Tilbury one. I've got some Makeup Forever ones. I've got this one here from Galani Cosmetics. These two colors are actually really pretty. They're really buttery, these colors too. I also have a Bare Mineral shadow there and some Loose Essence eyeshadows. So now I'm just going to move on to the top drawer on the other side. This drawer here might be one of my favorites. It's all different lip products. So I have some of my all-time favorite lip products here from Charlotte Tilbury. I love her Matte Revolution lipsticks. They're just uh, amazing. This one here is in the shade Birkin Brown. I wear this one a ton, actually. Her matte lipsticks are just so good. And the packaging on all her products just gets me every time. So I have a bunch of different lipsticks from her here. I also have a lip gloss and a little lip balm. And then in here, I have a bunch of different Gerard Cosmetics lipsticks and liquid lipsticks, as well as some random Dior lip gloss that just didn't really fit anywhere else and then in here I have all my different MAC lipsticks um, and a MAC lip gloss and then I have some NARS lipsticks and some different pencils in there um, so that's what's in there and then I have some different essence um, lipsticks and different glosses back there I actually really like these lipsticks over here these are from like their nude line um, I actually really like this one which is um, cool nude it's kind of like a dark mauvey but still neutral kind of lipstick. They're very very creamy though so I really like them for more of like a natural lip. Okay moving on to drawer two over here. Let me bring it down a little bit. This one isn't completely full yet so it's good because I have room to grow. Um, not that I'm planning on buying any more makeup but I'm sure I'll end up finding ways to fill this up. So I have some different essence ones over here. These are some of like their new matte liquid lipsticks as well as some glosses. And then I have a bunch of different lipsticks and long wearing lipsticks from DDM Cosmetics. I have these two lip glosses from Clarins over here. I actually really love this one. This one is absolutely gorgeous, the color, and I really like the formula of these ones. They don't feel sticky on your lips at all. Um, but again, I am looking for a dupe of this one because I don't think I will repurchase that. Um, I also have some NYX products over here. I really like NYX. They're pretty affordable and they're really great products. These are their soft matte lip creams, which I've talked about a bit before on my channel. This one here, Abu Dhabi, is just like the best color ever. It's a gorgeous, neutral, but really wearable pinky nude. It's just uh, so perfect and they smell really good. All of these liquid lipsticks smell like cake batter, so that's always a plus in my books. And that's pretty much it for that drawer. Let's move on to the next. This drawer here, again, is some different lip products. So I've got a bunch of different lipsticks here from Lush. These are really interesting. These aren't like a liquid lipstick, but they're also not like a gloss either. They're kind of almost in between. Um, I actually really like this color here. This is called Confident. So I wear those kind of like on an everyday kind of basis. Um, they're not super long wearing though, so I probably wouldn't wear those for like a night out. Then over here in this drawer, I have a bunch of different lip liners. So most of them are pretty neutral. I have a couple of red and darker colors as well. Um, the different ones that I have in here are Makeup Forever, um, Essence, NYX. I also have some Rimmel. I've got some Radford ones, some MAC ones, and then this one from Charlotte Tilbury. I probably get the most wear out of um, this Rimmel one here, which is in the shade Natural. And this Makeup Forever one here in 2C. Those are kind of like my everyday go-to lip colors. 
Back here, I have a bunch of different lip balms. I am like a lip balm addict, and I can always find a reason to buy more. Um, I have this one here from Glossier, which I really like. I also have this one, which is really nice as well. This one is like a vegan, organic, tea-infused lip balm. It smells like mango, and it's Mm, it smells amazing, but it feels really nice on the lips as well. So I just have a bunch of different lip balms over there. And then back here, this is kind of like a drawer that got pushed to the back because it, they kind of didn't belong anywhere else. Um, these are just kind of different drugstore ones, different glosses and lipsticks. So that is what I have in this drawer. Okay, moving on. In this drawer here, I have a bunch of different brow products as well as a ton of different false lashes. So here I have a bunch of different pencils. So I've got different ones from the Face Shop. I actually really like this one. This one here is from the Face Shop and it's in the darker shade. Does it say the color on here? I don't think it says the color, but I think they have two different ones and it's the darker one. Um, it's a really interesting finish. It's kind of waxy almost, but the color match is just absolutely perfect for my eyebrows. My one complaint about this though is that it is kind of like stubby the end. It doesn't really come to a point. Um, I think I would prefer it if it was a bit more tapered at the end and a bit um, finer of a tip. But I do really like the formula of that. It's really nice. Um, I also use this Dior one a bunch. This is kind of like my go-to every day. And then I have, of course, my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the Brow Powder. This container here basically just has a bunch of different eyebrow gels and clear mascaras for my brows. This one here I actually really like. It's from NYX. It's a tinted brow gel in Espresso. And I've been using this a ton recently. It doesn't add too much color in your eyebrows, but it just kind of finishes them off nicely and it really holds them in place. So I've been really loving that one recently. Clear mascara, though, is always a great option for a cheap eyebrow gel. I also have some different tinted ones here. Back here, I have a bunch of different false lashes. So I have more dramatic ones back here. These ones are from Violet Voss. And then I have some more natural ones here at the front from the face shop. Got a bunch of different ones too from MAC, um, Kiss. These are Ardell, I believe. I also have some individuals back here as well as some more lashes and some more lash glue. So I've got a pretty big variety that covers me from natural looking lashes to more dramatic and crazy lashes like these ones back here. So this next drawer here, it's kind of random. I mean, it started with good intentions. It started with like eye products. We've got some eyeliners here, gel eyeliners, liquid liners, um, and mascaras. So here I have all of my pencil eyeliners. These are more of like the neutral ones. Um, I love this one here from Marc Jacobs. This one's really cool. It's like a gel eyeliner in like a pencil form, and it's this really gorgeous like brown color. Um, there's a bit of shimmer inside as well. But I am looking for another alternative, so let me know if you have any other good eyeliner um, suggestions. I also have some ones here from the face shop. This one's really cool. It's called Tear Shine. This is really pretty to do on like the inner corner because it's just kind of like a shiny, shimmery um, champagne color. Really beautiful. So I really like those ones, but I have a bunch of different ones in here. I've got some Rimmel, some Mac. Um, Charlotte Tilbury, Makeup Forever, and that's basically all of those guys. Then here I have the MAC Gel Eyeliner in Black Track. I feel like I've had this pot for a long time and I'm surprised it hasn't dried out. Then I have this one here from Inglot. Oh my gosh! Did this split? What the heck? There's like a crack right down the middle of it. I wonder if it's because it got like cold in the winter and then like the heat from my furnace. I don't know, that's really weird. Hmm. Anyways, I really like the Inglot ones. They're super creamy and really pigmented. Moving on to more liquid liners. A bunch of these ones here are from the face shop. They have really cool colors. I honestly thought that this was a lip liner at first, but this is an eyeliner. They're super pigmented and they're super bright. They also do really fun liquid eyeliner colors. This one here is like a reddy orange kind of color. And it's just super different. Like I've never seen an orange liquid eyeliner like that before. Really cool. So over here, I have a bunch of different mascaras I've got from the drugstore to more high-end. I have these ones. Oh my goodness, what am I doing? I have these ones over here. These are from Essence. I really like Essence, especially for affordable mascara. They have a really big like um, range that you can choose from. These ones here are waterproof. I also have this one here from Charlotte Tilbury. This is a full fat lashes. This one here, I don't even know where this came from. I'm just finishing it up. I don't really like this one at all. And then this one here from Lush, it's really good, especially if you have sensitive eyes. It's definitely not a dramatic or super black, um, falsy effect kind of mascara. It's super natural. I'm pretty sure this is wheatgrass based. Yeah, wheatgrass based. So apparently it's supposed to help your eyelashes grow as well. So it's kind of like one of those like no makeup makeup products, if you know what I mean. And then over here, I have the Makeup Forever Flash Palette. This thing is absolutely amazing, especially if I'm doing like a special effect makeup 
or if I'm doing like a theater look or something really fun. You can basically make any color that you want out of this. It's a really cool and interesting palette. Definitely worth looking into if you're like a makeup artist or really like doing crazy makeup looks. Then back here, I kind of have like a random palette from NYX just because I had this base here. And this is kind of like a neutral palette that has lip and, or not lips, sorry, um, cheek and highlighter as well as eyeshadows. It is good, I think, if you're a beginner. Some of the eyeshadows are kind of patchy um, and kind of chalky, but some of them are pretty good. So it's kind of like a hit or miss with the certain eyeshadows. But I mean, I'm pretty sure it was like under $30. So good if you're a beginner or you just kind of want something to play around with. And then finally back over here, I just have some Naked Cosmetic Loose Pigments. These are really beautiful. All of the colors are like these really cool, rich, oops, um, these really cool, rich jewel tones. I'm not sure if you can tell through the packaging. This is like a really gorgeous cranberry kind of color. But yeah, definitely a good product. Um, don't get as much use out of it as I would like, but it's definitely fun for once in a while. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the big drawers at the bottom. They are pretty much all makeup related, but I'll get to the ones that aren't in a little bit. So this drawer here, it probably looks like a hot mess, but there's honestly no better way to organize it or to make it look neater. Um, special effects products are probably going to get messy and look dirty, and there's not too much you can do about it. So this is the best that I could do. But anyways, moving into what I actually have in them. So I have basically in this one all different like glues and adhesives or liquid latexes. Um, I have some Prosade here, some Clodium, I have some Stipple Latex and some Skin Tight. And then back over here, let me bring you a little bit closer. Um, I just have some different creams. So these are for like burns um, and different bruises. I really like these Ben Nye wheels. They're really, really good. And then I also have some of like my bloods in here. I've got Scab Blood back here. I've got some Cake Eyeliner, some other translucent powders from Cryolin. And then at the back here, I have different sponges and different stippling sponges. I have some Spirit Gum, some Witch Hazel. I also have this, which I really like. This is really fun, especially for like Halloween. I find I get a lot of use out of it. This is from Jordane. It's the Special Effects Tooth Kit. And basically what you do, you spray alcohol in this and then you can put this on your teeth and it stains them. So whether you want like a toothless look, a smoke stain, a tooth decay, anything like that. Really fun for a zombie look as well. Really cool. And then in the back here, I have a bunch of different palettes. So a lot of these are my alcohol activated palettes. These are really good. I use these a lot when I did prosthetics. Um, really good for like a zombie look as well. Oh. These palettes never really look like much when you're just looking at them, but I really love the alcohol activated palettes. Really good for doing tattoos as well. I use them a bunch in my special effects videos here on this channel. And then I also have some bigger Krylon palettes here. This is my aqua color palette. I use this, um, oh my goodness, what has happened here? They're kind of like watercolor paints almost, but for your face. Then here I have my rubber mask grease paint palette. Again, good for like more theater looks. Um, also doing like bald caps, things like that. And then up at the front, I just have some sculpting tools and some special effects brushes. You obviously don't want to use like your good makeup brushes for special effects because blood is hard to get out of. Latex, if you get any of that in your brushes, they're going to be ruined. So you might as well buy some cheaper craft brushes for special effects. So that is basically all of my special effects in that drawer there. The next drawer here I have is just some extra nail stuff. I keep most of like my nail trimmers and files and things like that in the bathroom, but I have some extra nail polishes here. A lot of these are Essence. Essence does really good um, affordable nail polishes, and they have a pretty good color range as well. I also have this Sesh Vite top coat. This one actually does work pretty good, but honestly my favorite top coats are these gel ones from Essence, the gel base coat and top coat. I find those work the best, and again, they're really affordable. And then over here, I just have a couple of like nail swatch wheel things. Um, these are kind of like what you see in salons, so you can like display all the colors. Like I said, I had a big nail polish phase when I was younger. So I did these when I was younger. Um, these are all my OPI colors here. I was very specific about having them all color coded and in order. And yeah, it was, it was weird. But I mean, I guess I'm like that now with makeup. I'm very particular about it. Um, and then back here, I just have some Kiss Press On Nails. And then I just have this actually I haven't used it in a while, but it definitely is fun for like a night out This is the caviar manicure and like there are these little beads that you actually put on your nails So they have that like textured bead effect. They're really cool They don't really last long only really good for like one or two nights, but I'm um, definitely fun for once in a while 
Okay, and then down here, this is kind of like a random hair drawer. I just have a bunch of different hair brushes and other things like that in there. I have my extensions that I store in here as well as some hair clips. Nothing too exciting. The bulk of my hair product is stored in the bathroom, but I just like to keep my brushes in here as well as all my hair tools. So these are all like my curling irons and then I also have, I don't know if you can see back there, there's um, a hair dryer, a bunch of different wands, curling irons, straighteners, things like that. I like to keep all these in here. So moving on to the four drawers on the left here. This one is kind of like a place where I have products that I want to finish up. So I have some different face masks here, some eye masks. Um, I also have some samples and some testers of some primers and foundations that I want to use up. Back here I actually have the Back to Mac Recycling Program um, empties stored. Basically all of these products are actually my mom's, um, but I'll take the back for her and get her a new lip gloss. She absolutely loves this one lip gloss. It's called Partial to Pink, um, and it's literally all she uses. So I'll probably go exchange and get a new one of that for her. And then over here, I just have some things for cleaning my tools. So I have alcohol, which I use on my brushes, as well as brush cleaner. And then over here, I have like kind of all my backup. So I have an extra foundation, and then I also have an extra tinted moisturizer over here. And then I also have this, and this kind of has actually a funny story to go along with it. Um, some of you guys might know my cousin Megan. I did a video with her a while back. Um, she's not living with me anymore because she's away at school, but we keep on mailing each other this back and forth. But basically, long story short, she ended up buying this. She found out it sucked, and she felt too bad to like throw it out. So we just keep on like mailing it back and forth to each other in the mail. So I received this not too long ago from her, so I have to write her name on this and send it back in the mail to her. So that is basically that drawer. Moving down a drawer, this is kind of like my disposables drawer. So I basically have um, disposables like makeup wipes, these are some facial cleansing cloths, Kleenexes, I have a powder puff in here, some cotton pads, um, extra, what are these called? Sponges, cosmetic wedges, um, I've got extra Q-tips and spoolies, um, and then I have extra brush cleaner, alcohol, other brush cleaner. So yeah, this is basically just like my disposables and things to refill my cleaning supplies in there. And then moving a drawer down, this one is actually not makeup related at all. These are basically all of my sunglasses that I have in here. And they just really didn't fit anywhere else and the sides of these drawers were perfect and I had an empty drawer so I decided to put all my sunglasses in there. And finally, moving on to the last drawer here. Again, it's not too exciting, but I have a cape in here. This is good if I'm doing my makeup and I don't want to make a mess, which sometimes I do. So if I have like a white shirt on or something like that, I'll put the cape on. And then I just have an extra travel makeup bag here. And then I just have a brush roll back here. This is really good for traveling or anything like that. I prefer brush rolls versus like the hard brush travel containers just because I find you can fit more in this way. So I always like to have this on hand for whenever I go traveling. And then I also just have an extra eyelash curler and a pair of scissors inside. So that is basically the entire storage piece. I'll give you guys one last overview. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my makeup collection today. I know it's a little insane and a little excessive, but I mean, I guess it's all perspective, right? To some people, it's probably not a lot of makeup. To other people, it's probably like an insane, ridiculous amount of makeup. But at the end of the day, it's something that I enjoy. It's a hobby of mine. It's part of my job. I don't really know why I'm trying to justify it. It's completely not necessary, but it's something that I enjoy. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video today. Like I said, I know a lot of you guys have requested to see it. So I hope this satisfied you guys and I hope you, you know, had fun watching it. Be sure to leave any other comments or any other video requests you have down in the comments below and I'll check those out. Thank you guys so much for watching as always and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!